Hi Aquarius, it's Jen with Bohemian Path Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're doing a tarot reading with the Light Seers Tarot. I'm using the Pocket Edition today. I'm going to go ahead and give the deck a good shuffle for you, and I will meet you on the other side for your reading. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what we've got going on. Temperance reversed. The star reversed. The queen of swords. Pretty much you and your energy. And the ace of pentacles. Okay. So, aces are a new chapter, new start, new beginning in a particular area. This looks like a new beginning in terms of resources. This could be a new job. For some of you, it could be like a new, uh, like a new house, buying a new house, like closing escrow, something like that. Um, this could be a new internship, uh, retiring starting school, starting a new um, uh, educational program. But I think for most people, it, it looks like a new job or a new career path, uh, a promotion or even a lateral move, some kind of a, a job situation. Um, yeah, it looks like something you're working for or you have worked for. It was a job you were offered, but you you worked for that offer. You requested it or you sought out that interview or what have you. And it's something that you will have to nurture, something you will have to sort of, yeah, we'll go with career path that um, you will have to kind of nurture and it will be kind of a, a slow growth. Um, but ultimately this looks like a kind of an exciting phase and very much a, a new chapter, something you will devote some time to, because we see the next couple of cards here are major arcana cards. Um, temperance is the card about balance. It's a card about kind of bringing, uh, different parts of your life together in balance, in harmony. This could be the work life balance piece, you know, so it could be why um, some of you, and I'm saying, you know, I always have to give out a couple of different options because these are general readings, right? So it's not going to be the same for every Aquarius hearing this, but, you know, and maybe you had to make a lateral move or seek a change, or maybe you um, had to move to a different town, um, is something like that, uh, so that you could get a, a different kind of a job with a better work-life balance or to better take care of your kids. Um, but it looks like you're still looking to kind of drill down on that work-life balance, or uh, maybe it's, um, for some of you, it could be a partner thing where you had to move because of a partner. So you're trying to kind of coordinate, um, your schedule with their schedule and you know kind of meld those kind of two lives together and building that um building that uh, new foundation building that new life together is still a work in progress um we see in the star there's also the piece of um a dream in progress so it's not yet a dream fulfilled. There's still some more steps to go. There's still some more work to do. I've, it seems like maybe there's some more training or there's still a missing piece, um, you know, again, with the Ace of Pentacles. There's still, um, it's a slower moving sort of force. This isn't the victory card. This is the beginning. This is sort of... Uh, the first steps and there's there's unfoldment to happen there's still you know chapters that um that lead to um 
other chapters, right? So, but there, with this star card, even though it's in the reversed, um, in the upright, the star card is the wishes fulfilled, right? Seeing the, the light at the end of the tunnel, seeing the wishes fulfilled. In the reversed uh, position, all it means is that the time is not yet ripe, but it's there. It's, it's waiting for you. It just has to ripen. So um, there's still some more steps. There's still, maybe it's licensing that you have to do, or maybe, you know, if you're like in the creative arts, maybe you have to get an agent or you have to get an editor or you have to finish your um, uh, draft or, you know, maybe you have to finish your thesis or whatever it is that, um, that you're doing. The star, of course, is also associated with a certain amount of fame or being in the public eye, something like that. So there still are steps you have to do to get to this wish fulfillment, um, to get your star, but it's, it's there. It's waiting for you. You just have to kind of fill in the next steps. You get what I'm saying, Aquarius. Um, also, not for nothing, the star is the card associated, the major arcana card associated with Aquarius. So this is also associated with you. So is the Queen of Swords. This is very much um, air energy. So uh, this is also associated with writers, uh, not for nothing. So if any of you are writers, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Feel free to um, link your blog or your, you know, Amazon link to your books or self-published um, works, whatever. Um, but the Queen of Swords does indicate this is the um, the kind of the most masterful card in in all of your cards that we've pulled here, even though we have a couple of really beautiful major arcana cards, they're still sort of beautiful works in progress. Um, the Queen of Swords knows who she is. She knows what she does. She knows her skill set. She and and this and in this depiction, she is going somewhere. She look how sure she is of herself. She knows where she's going. She she even knows where the wind is taking her. She's sure of where this this I, I don't know much about, you know, sailing or how that works, but I believe there are certain winds that take you in certain directions. And if you know enough about that, you can catch a draft and to catch a particular wind and it'll take you in a certain way and it looks like she has caught the particular wind that she needs to go where she wants to go but she knows where she's going even if she isn't even if she hasn't arrived and I'm just using she because that's how this particular um, character in this card shows up but no matter your gender expression uh, this card represents you going, knowing where you're going. Um, it represents you having great communication skills, having great diplomacy, possibly as a writer, possibly in marketing, possibly in, um, you know, communications, event planning, some sort of diplomacy, maybe even politics or law, something like that. Um, but she has great communication skills. She is decisive. She is sure of herself. She knows how to craft a message so it lands and so it's heard. And even though there's this, this other stuff that's still in progress, she is sure that she's going to finish. She's going to complete the steps that she needs. Just as this, she is sure that the, the, the wind is taking her wherever she needs, wherever she needs to go. Well, I'm not exactly sure what all this means, Aquarius, but I am sure that you know what it means. As sure as I am sure that this queen is sure. So, um, I hope this gives you some food for thought or some validation, some, some clarity. Um, Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so glad you were here. If you feel like sharing uh, in the comments, feel free to do so. Um, in any case, please take good care of yourself. Until next time, bye for now.